Welcome back everyone. You may have just picked up your iPhone 13 mini. So here are some tips and tricks that you can go ahead and utilize on really any iPhone 13 mini out there in order to get the most out of your specific iPhone. Now these aren't just exclusive to the 13 mini, but I did kind of, you know, think about this phone when I was doing these. So first of all, one of the best features with iOS 15 in general, but also with, you know, any iPhone that supports iOS 15 with like the 13 mini is drag and drop. So this is really awesome. What you can do when any iPhone 13 mini supports this is let's say we can go ahead and, you know, we want to make our way over to the Apple website and let's say we want to make a note, right? And we want to go ahead and drag an image here. Well, typically what we would have to do is copy the image and then bring in that image like we always would. But what we can do is let's just take this little option, for example, this little Apple Watch thing. What we can do is we can go ahead and highlight the image like this. And you can see right behind my finger, I'm dragging that image like this. And I can go ahead and use my other finger or another hand. And I can go ahead and swipe out of here. And if you look, I'm still dragging that specific little thing. So now we can make our way back over to that notes app and we can actually drop that specific image right there. Now in this specific case, it was a hyperlink, but it did actually end up becoming an image for us. So this is really cool and this is system wide. So you can now drag and drop anything, you know, from any application, I think, and also within Safari, all of Apple's apps and everything, you can actually drag and drop within it. So this is awesome. One of my favorite features within iOS 15. And I'm so happy to see this brought into this specific phone. Now, another awesome feature that the iPhone 13 mini supports is back tap. So what this does is it allows us to either double tap or triple tap on the back of our iPhone. And we can actually, you know, have our iPhone do things like turn off or screenshot or different things like that. So in order to do this, what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings application. You want to scroll down into accessibility, which is right here. And what you want to do is you want to click touch, which is right over here, right kind of towards the bottom of the page. And right over here, you'll see a couple of different options that come up. But at the very bottom, there's this little back tap feature. So what we can do is we can go ahead and click on back tap and we can figure out whether we want to double tap or triple tap on the back of our phone. So in this case, we'll just click double tap. And let's say every single time we want to double tap on the back of our device, we wanted to screenshot. So there's a lot of other options here. I mean, it just kind of keeps going. There's so many things you can do. And I'd recommend you guys to kind of look through all these and see which one you want. Now in this specific case, I don't even know where screenshot is, so we'll just go ahead and do lock screen. So every time we double tap on the back of our phone now, the phone will turn off the screen. So I'll go ahead and double tap like this, so I'll double tap, and you will see that the display did actually turn off. Now we can always turn back on our phone like this and go back here. And this is great if you actually went ahead and you know you, were, you don't want to use your power button anymore, or you wanted to do any of these other things. You can even make us go home by double tapping, which I don't understand why. You can even shake the phone by clicking here so it'll shake the device and it's so many cool other things. You can turn off double tap by clicking there. You can also go into triple tap and pretty much do the same thing. So it's a lot of commands here. I'm really happy about that and that is a really awesome feature for sure. Now another cool thing within your iPhone 13 mini is reachability. Now if you have a 13 mini, you may prefer having a small iPhone and you may not like doing a bunch of hand gymnastics and going all over the place. So a cool thing with reachability is you can bring the top portion of your display, essentially the top half, and bring it towards the bottom. So what this looks like is essentially, if you look at the bottom of your phone, you'll have this little space down here. And all you wanna do is kind of drag on the bottom towards your display like this. So a great way to do this is if you're in an application, you can see this little bar right here. You just wanna basically drag that bar towards the bottom. And when you do that, the top page, the top will pretty much be nothing. And you can go ahead and use your iPhone as you normally would. So let's say you didn't wanna go, you just, let's say you would just wanna drag the status bar down or something like that, or the control center. Well, you can do that like this, and you can utilize your phone however you want to at that point. So that's another cool thing you may like on your specific iPhone. Now, another thing for specifically smaller iPhones like the 13 mini, the same thing can be done for keyboards. So let's say you want your keyboard to be on one side or the other, and you don't want to use both hands when you're typing. Well, what you can do is you can go ahead and hold down on the little emoji icon like this. You can go ahead and change your keyboards as you normally would, but you can actually go ahead and change the you know way your keyboard is situated. So if you'd rather have your keyboard on the left side, you can go ahead and click there. And you can go ahead and type in as you normally would, and that's really cool, you know? You can also change it to the other side by holding down right here and clicking on the other side. So if you're using your other hand, you can also do the same exact thing. You can always bring your keyboard back by clicking on that little arrow there, or you can also hold it down and click in the middle and your keyboard will go back to normal. But that's another cool thing if you're really into that kind of stuff. Now, another awesome thing with the iPhone 13 mini is the camera. This camera is very solid. It's a very, very good camera and it has a lot of capability. 
So in this specific case, if we make our way over to our camera application, as most of you know, there are a ton of cool little things within this specific camera app. So you can go ahead and zoom in a lot. You can zoom out with this little tab right here. And up top, you may not know this, but there's a way to actually gain way more functionality from your camera application. And it's with this top little arrow pointing up. So if you go ahead and click on that top arrow, you will see that it, we uncover a bunch of different you know, features within the camera. So here we have our flash, which is also in the top left. We have a live photo. We have this new filter option, which was kind of there, I think, with other iPhones, but we can tap on it and we can now get a couple of different filters. So we can get standard, we can do rich contrast, and you can you know, modify how, whichever ones you want here, which is awesome. So I'd recommend you guys to look through this one. We can go and click here. You can also change the aspect ratio of your photo or video if you want to go four by three or 18 by nine, you have that capability here. You can lock the exposure so you can increase or decrease the brightness of a photo. And you can also set up a timer. So if you want to set up a timer on your photo, you can click there. And this thing, I mean, you can go and take a photo here, but this thing has a solid camera and I'm so happy about it. But also, let's say you want to go ahead and, you know, gain some more functionality. Let's say you want to modify some more things. Well, what we can do is we can hop out of here and we can make our way over to our settings application right here. So we'll come into a panel like this if you go and hop out of it. And we can go ahead and scroll down and you can go ahead and click on your camera little option. So right here is our camera application, little, you know, toggle we can go ahead and modify more things with. We can click on it and there are a ton of more things we can go ahead and modify. Now the specific thing we're going to look at is actually under formats. So if we click on formats, you can either change your specific photo to high efficiency or most compatible. Typically, I would probably recommend keeping it on most compatible to be honest, because this is like a HEIC versus like a JPEG file. So some people may prefer this, but both of them are pretty good. You can edit both in Photoshop and different things like that, and you can still upload them to Instagram and stuff. Now you can also click on record video and you can change up whatever you want to do here. Now I would recommend keeping it at 1080p at 30, but right here with HDR video, this is actually allowing you to record video with Dolby HDR. And this is a awesome functionality that you have as well. And I would recommend keeping this on because it does enhance the audio because it does enhance the you know video of your specific video. It makes it look a lot better. So if you plan on doing stuff like this and taking a lot of videos on your phone, you may want to keep this on and it's gonna suck up probably a little bit more storage, but it's another awesome feature. Another thing I would recommend doing is recording your stereo sound. This will make your audio sound so much better within your specific you know video. So if you're planning on doing a lot of different video things and all that, I'd recommend keeping this on. But on top of that, I would recommend turning on this live text little feature as well, which we'll get into in a second. But those are some really cool camera little, you know, functionalities that you have as well, which is really awesome. Now, another thing I want to show you, which is really awesome within iOS 15, is actually live text. So we'll go ahead and make our way over to our settings app, and we can be on any page. I'm just going to go ahead and take a screenshot within the settings page, right? Nothing crazy. It's just an image, you know. So what we can do is we can make our way over to our photos app. And now within our photos application, so I don't have to, let's just take this image for example, you can actually copy text from an image. So if we just zoomed in here, you can see this is an image. It's nothing crazy. But whether it's a screenshot like this or you took a photo of something else that has text on it, you can actually hold down on the text like this and you will see that'll actually allow you to copy that text from that image. And this is amazing. So we can go ahead and highlight the text like this. We can go ahead and click copy and we can go ahead and make our way over to our camera or notes app or whatever. We can go and click paste right here and you will see that it will go ahead and copy whatever we just did and it'll paste it right here too, which is so awesome. So this is an amazing iPhone 13 mini feature. This is also supported for any other iPhone that supports iOS 15 that's newer than the iPhone XS. And this is an amazing feature. We can go ahead and do the same thing here. Hold down on the text like this, and it will go ahead and copy the text for us. So that is an amazing feature for sure. Now, the other thing I want to show you is focus mode. Do Not Disturb has been changed over to uh, focus mode, which is a really cool thing. If we go ahead and hold down on our little toggle right here, you'll essentially be able to go ahead and change up your focuses. So this will allow you to go ahead and add a new focus. And essentially what it is, is it's almost like customized Do Not Disturb options. So if you're somebody who wants to go ahead and, you know, change up your peripherals a little bit, and you only want certain apps to, you know, notify you and all that, well, you can go ahead and change up your specific you know, options to do that. And this is another really cool thing that you have the ability of. So without a doubt, that's another thing I would highly recommend you to look into is toggling up your focus modes and configuring them to yourself. You can also make your way over to your settings application, scroll down over to focus right here, and you can also change up these specific focus modes here as well. Now, the final thing I wanna tell you is just some more of a tip 
I did actually do a battery test between the iPhone 13 mini and most of the other iPhones, and I did see that although the battery life isn't as good as the 13, 13 Pro, and 13 Pro Max, this battery life was beating pretty much all the other iPhones that I had, which is crazy. Now, those other iPhones were on iOS 15, so that maybe had a big toll on it, but this is still a very good battery life on your iPhone. So for my test, it seemed great. Again, I would recommend kind of seeing it for the next couple of weeks for yourself and seeing how good it is. But so far, the 13 mini is looking to be a promising phone. I'm actually super happy about it. So in terms of that, that covers it up there. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that or any other tips or tricks, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.